hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we will understand what is electrode potential and what is cell potential so let's first revise what is galvanic cell because this revision is going to take us to our destiny that is understanding electrode potential and cell potential if you don't know what is galvanic cell then please click on the link which is provided in the description box so for example of a galvanic cell i have considered a zn electrode which is immersed in znso4 solution which is acting as a electrolytic solution and this copper electrode is dipped in a copper sulfate solution now with the help of the electrochemical series we found out that this zn is acting as our anode and this copper is acting as our cathode now as we all know that at anode there is an oxidation reaction taking place now what is the meaning of oxidation oxidation is nothing but loss of electrons right so at anode is our zn so zn has to undergo oxidation that is it has to lose electrons so zn will now lose electrons and become zn2 plus that is a positive ion of zn is now formed this zn of an electrode which gets dissociated into two electrons and zn2 plus ions due to this this zn2 plus ions will go into this electrolytic solution okay this zn2 plus ions will go into the electrolytic solution and these two electrons will get accumulated on the electrode in this way many atoms will get dissociated into zn2 plus ions and two electrons so there will be lots of electrons at this electrode and many ions will be present in this electrolytic solution now since zn2 plus is positively charged therefore our electrolytic solution becomes positive so this electrolytic solution has now become positively charged and since there are many electrons on this zn electrode which is acting as our anode therefore anode becomes negatively charged okay and now what happens as at the cathode is that these electrons will travel through this conductor and reach the copper cathode after reaching the copper cathode someone has to take those electrons okay this copper electrode cannot take those electrons because it is already stable now in order to take those electrons this cuso4 will break down into cu2 plus ions plus so4 2 minus ions and this cu2 plus ions which are deficient of two electrons will take those electrons lost by this zn electrode these electrons travel through this conductor and reach this electrode and this electrode at this electrode cu2 plus ions will take those electrons similarly many cu2 plus ions will get accumulated at this copper electrode in order to take those electrons and many so4 2 minus ions will be go into the electrolytic solution where they are already okay they have come from this electrolytic solution only cu so4 now since our electrolytic solution contains so4 2 minus ions which are negatively charged therefore our electrolytic solution now becomes negatively charged and our electrode has cu2 plus ions on it now cu2 plus ions are positively charged therefore this copper electrode which is acting as the cathode becomes positively charged so here we have got to know that our anode is nothing but negatively charged and 
our cathode is nothing but positively charged okay the similar figure i will be drawing over here just i will separate these two vessels okay these two half cells i will separate now so now this is the zn electrode which i have drawn okay now this zn electrode is negatively charged right so instead of drawing the zn electrode i will consider this to be a negatively charged electrode okay this is negatively charged and it is dipped in a solution which is positively charged okay so i will dip this negatively charged zn electrode into positively charged electrolytic solution now can you all observe one thing that here this electrode is negatively charged and the electrolytic solution is positively charged due to the difference in charge there will be a potential difference taking place between this positively charged electrolytic solution and this negative electrode this potential difference between this negatively charged electrode and positively charged electrolytic solution is nothing but known as electrode potential okay similarly this cu copper electrode is positively charged and it is dipped in a electrolytic solution which is negatively charged okay so again there is a potential difference between positively charged electrode and negative electrolytic solution this potential difference between the electrode and electrolytic solution as we all know is known as electrode potential so how can we define electrode potential is that it is the potential difference between whom electrode electrodes and their electrolytic solutions okay so electrode potential can be defined as the potential difference between electrode and their respective electrolytic solutions now since at zn their zn is acting as our anode and at anode oxidation reaction is taking place so this electrode potential can also be called as oxidation electrode potential and since our copper electrode is acting as a cathode and at cathode always there is reduction taking place okay so this can also be called as reduction electrode potential now let's understand what is cell potential cell potential is nothing but the potential difference between these two electrodes as we all can see this electrode is negatively charged and another electrode is positively charged so of course due to the potential difference there will be some potential difference between the positively charged electrode and negatively charged electrode this potential difference between these two electrodes is known as cell potential now what is the relation between cell potential and electrode potential the relation between cell potential cell potential is nothing but electrode poten oxidation electrode potential plus reduction electrode potential okay so cell potential is nothing but the potential difference between 
both these electrodes and oxidation electrode potential is nothing but the potential difference between negatively charged electrode and positive electrolytic solution and reduction electrode potential is nothing but the potential difference between positively charged electrode and negative electrolytic solution so now this is the equation which gives us the relation between cell potential and electrode potentials of the bo of both the half cells now what is standard cell potential standard cell potential is nothing but when we keep the solution both these when both these electrolytic cells half cells are kept at 25 degree celsius and the concentration of its ions is 1 molar and they are kept under one atomic pressure so this is nothing but known as cell potential which is represented by standard cell potential is nothing but equals to e not of oxidation which means oxidation redux oxidation electrode potential plus e not of reduction electrode potential now some we some uh, may in some books it is represented in a different way that is e not of e not of a cell can be represented as e not of oxidation okay oxidation at which electrode oxidation is taking place at anode right zn is acting as our anode so it sometimes they write anode in bracket and at which electrode reduction is taking place at cathode so they write cathode as in the bracket okay now according to iupac iupac do not consider oxidation electrode potentials this value is what oxidation reduction potential and this is sorry this is oxidation electrode potential and this is reduction electrode potential right but iupac only considers reduction electrode potential of both these values now the reduction potential re re reduction electrode potential of this value is always positive but since there is oxidation taking place here so this gets a negative sign therefore according to iupac e not of a cell is nothing but equals to e not of cathode minus e not of anode so guys this was all about your cell potential and electrode potential if you have liked this video then please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and do enjoy all the videos of your 11th and 12th physics and chemistry comment below like and share it with your friends as much as possible guys thanks for watching this video